Right, so I was just going to show you this kind of old English figure of four deadfall trigger. Now they also, for some weird reason, used to call these a Samson's post um, deadfall trigger. Depends what book you look in. Um, some will say figure of four. Some will say Samson's post. But when you look at the trigger, it's the same thing. So slightly different to what you'd see in most kind of survival books. Um, but I have seen similar ones to these, like made by um, like kind of primitive cultures or whatever. But the main part of this is, is they say make it out of flat wood. Now we're talking, um, this is, the instructions I read was from about, you know, mid to late 1800s. England so make it out of flat wood and they say make it out of deal so get some good deal um, and deal is kind of soft wood kind of pine wood kind of um, wood if you know what I mean so get some of that and then you carve it how I've carved it here so this one is your upright stick This is your upright stick. So we've got a cut in here and then this part has been cut sloping. At the top we've got it like that. Then at the bottom we've got this kind of V-shaped cutting. And that's just to stop it slipping, kind of digging the ground a bit better. Then your middle stick is like, no, sorry, this is the top one. The middle stick so we're done like this. So you've got two notches at the back, so you can do different settings. On one there like that. And then for them, more importantly, they said drill a hole this end. And that is for tying, you have your bait dangling down. Because this trap goes off better if it gets pulled down. And then your kind of slanting stick on top has got this slot in it, this um what do they call that? Seven notch, whatever. And it's just been pointed at the other end. And it's slightly tapering that way. Whereas all the others are just straight. Right, so a couple of other things before I forget. Um, what they used to say was, so make it out of deal, but which is like, you know, soft wood, pine wood. But if you could make it out of ash, it was far superior. But... Deal is cheaper, so you know it's better off to use that. And also for your bait, um, wire it on with the hole you've drilled. But they said it was absolutely vital that whatever bait you used had to be soft. And this is to be used with a deadfall weight. So they thought that if you had any type of hard bait, when it came down, the hard bait would sit on the floor keep the trap in the air so it had to be something what was soft and would be squashed and allow the whole lot to go onto the ground and kill the animal so they was pretty clever and thought about their stuff you know all the time so setting it you take your upright and they've got all different names for these if I can remember them so I think the middle one is the stretcher your upright and your slanting one so you take your upright Place that there. Now on the picture, this is the one which is um, kind of cut fat one end to, to the other, thin, fat one end, thin at the other end. Was I think it should have been this one, which should have been fat one end and thin to the other. But that's not how the picture was and how it was described. And then it looks like it's not going to work when you do it. But it does. I'll get a weight or something then we'll try it. I don't know about you but if you think about how like a survival type figure 4 is. This is very different to that. The same thing essentially but it is quite different.
Now on some of your pictures that you see, the top one, this one, is smaller. It's kind of cut off here, so you haven't got such a long post. Yeah, so in some of the old pictures you'll see that this part, the top, the slanting part, is cut off about there. So, you know, it depends how you want to do it, but essentially that is it. Um, I suppose if that was cut off there, the whole thing would be in further. So, otherwise you're going to need to make this one much longer. And then your bait would be here, but like they said, um... In their opinion, it had to be a really soft bait, so the whole thing came down and crushed the animal. And we're talking deadfall, but like this, with a cage, it wouldn't matter so much. And then it goes off better if it goes down, but I suspect it will go off in every direction anyway. And that one goes off very easily like that. Probably goes off much easier than... The ones where you've got the two square notches sat into each other. Yeah, so something a bit different. An old English version of the figure of four dead full trigger. Relatively simple. Um, I think you could definitely make that out in the wild if you wanted to. But their idea was make a load of these and use it, you know, as part of your kind of pest control for trapping animals. And you could make tons of them and they always said that this was kind of like the cheapest trigger that you could make. Or engine. Right, anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you later.